Hello YouTube, Newbie June here, and welcome to the... <laughs> it's been like, what, a month? <laughs> oh, I hit my nose when I was doing this. <laughs> but anyway, I know I said I was gonna do this like two weeks ago, I think, roughly. Well, here it is. Here's the awaited, I don't know if it's been awaited, but like, here's the Q&A video. Like, finally, right? So, yeah. I finally have time to do this. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. But yeah. Here's the Q&A video. I have yet to see how many, like, how many questions are there. I'm kind of scared because I feel like there'll be, like, less than 10. Maybe. I don't know. I've been, like, continuously uploading it on Twitter. It's like, ask these questions. Ask, 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 ask. Like, please, 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 please. So hopefully there's more than 10. Hopefully. But yeah, I've got my screen recorder here, wait, like waiting to be recording the, right, yeah, you, you get what the screen recorder is there for. So, let's get straight into this. One, two, three. A what? <laughs> 38. Here I was hoping for more than 10. I got more than 30, almost 40. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's wow. That's a wow. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of shook. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> the third question, though, they put you. They really put emphasis on the R. Wow. This is a lot. Oh my God. There's like wow. It's it loading more posts. Wow. I did not expect this to happen. Wow, it's still loading my post. I, mm, I, I think I know who this Mama June, who who sent that is. I, I know who sent that. <laughs> but yeah, wow. I did not expect this. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for people who are interested in actually like me. <laughs> but yeah, I wow. Okay, let's. I don't know how to stop these, but yeah, let's get straight into this then. So first question. Mama June, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. This is most likely Ginger. <laughs> ginger, like, where's, where's Ginger? Let me just put my phone on mute. I might, there might be someone dying in the corner, but yeah. Excuse me, I have to answer these questions. So, I don't know if Ginger's on frame, but hopefully Ginger is, so there. This, it, that question is probably from Ginger, and yes, Mama June is back. Um, moving on to the next question. Who are the people that you trust the most? Who? Well, meanwhile, I'll, I'll just write the answers for this, so. Okay, next question. Who are the people that you trust the most? Who? Who are the people that you trust the most? That's... Yeah, first off. There's my best friend from Fiji. Let's write in, yeah, best friend from Fiji. That was with me from basically primary school and then we got more closer in middle school when we first entered like secondary school because it's like, the system is like primary school that's like from, I think when it follows the American system it's like grade, grade 1 to grade 5, I think that's how it's called, how it goes. And then from secondary school, it's like grade 6 to grade 12 or 13 in some countries. So that's it. So my best friend for Fiji. And then the, the other one would be Ginger. Yes, I will not reveal Ginger's real name. Uh, who else? <laughs> who else? <laughs> um... Who do who are the people that I, that you that I trust the most? <sighs> I guess. Yeah, I I do I do trust. There's like there's Rena who's <laughs> who's actually who's actually another YouTuber. I'll put the link down in the description. She's she I met her here in this university. And other than that, there's Hazel, and then um. 
there are a few other people, but I just I just don't want to put their real names here. And I guess a few other peeps, a few other peeps. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that will do it. Like in total, I think it's less than ten. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not. I don't want to go too into detail with their real names, but like, yeah, that's roughly the estimate of the people I trust the most. Going from the first to like later on, but I think it's mainly ten, roughly ten or less. If not, it'll be five or less. But yeah, that's answered. So third question. Are you secretly gay? No, I am not. Oh my god, Ginger Hill. Oh gosh. Let's just put Ginger on the side because Ginger is trying to ruin this freaking Q&A video. But yeah, okay. So, I think... I, I feel like this isn't gonna be the fir first question or... Well, it's not gonna be the last question asking me if I'm actually secretly gay. But unfortunately for some people, I am very, very straight. <laughs> I'm... I'm not gay, okay? I'm not secretly gay. No, I am not. I don't know. I, I think, yes, it may be confusing because I act the way I am. Like, I may act gay, but I'm not gay. <laughs> if that makes sense to everybody. But yeah, I'm not gay. I am straight like a ruler. Not the, not the flexible ones, so. <laughs> not like the flexible ones. The flexible ones. Okay, so I guess that answers that question. I need to change this to capital I's because the freaking line is is annoying me. But yeah, that's the fourth question I think. We still got like the no, fourth or the third. Okay, we still got more. we still got like thirty-five. Okay, who's your favorite character from Idol Project? This is very straightforward. I like Nishika no Maki. Nishika no Maki. Maki finished. That, that, she's like my favorite character of all. Like, no, no, like, debate there. It's, it's, it's Maki. It's Maki. It has to be Maki. <laughs> like, the main reason why I love her is because, it was mainly because of her voice. Because I, I watched them from... I started watching, so my whole background for Love Life, for the Love Life series is basically I watched the opening, and like I fell in love with the opening. The opening was like, yes, I I need to watch this. I need to know where it came from. I need to see where I can find the full version of this opening. And yeah, that's how I I was led to the series. But then afterwards, I think the first incident where I really really liked um. My, Pyle, the voice actor Pyle's voice was in um, Soldier Game. That's when I, I had a dilemma of either choosing Sono da Umi, Ayase Eri, or Nishiki no Maki. But then Maki really sealed it for me in Wonderful Rush when she had that nice high tone, like, voice, like that, that scene where she goes, Yeah, something like that. But that was where she literally st stole my heart. This was this is the same fact. Like if you see my reaction for my my tonight, I sh I think it's uploaded. But yeah, I really love those. I no, it's not even love. I envy those people who can do those kind of high tones because I can't do those kind of tones. So yeah, that's one of the reasons. And then gradually after falling in love with her voice, I gradually like fell in love with her character and like the Cinder type. So yeah. That's how I came to love of Nishiki no Maki. So that's my favorite character from Idol Project. And then next, do you believe in God? Okay, so this part, I am actually an atheist, so I don't really believe in God. I'm more of a facts person, so if there's like a fact and it's proven to be said fact, then I will stick with that. So for when it comes to God and like how, whether God is real or not, it's a little iffy because like as you can see the facts don't add up and it's not I don't I don't want to be offensive to people but like for me it's not really logical like how water becomes wine and like how from from like 
having from from his touch people are healed like things like healing water like that have recently appeared that recently appeared in Fiji like I don't really believe in those kind of things it, it might be a psychological thing like I said I'm more into a logical like I'm more of a logical person that's why when it comes to like things like evolution and like Big Bang Theory and like the whole story of how um, the first people on earth were like Adam and Eve like those those that story would be less convincing for me than the thing uh, than the theory about evolution because that's it's more relate not relatable but like you can understand it further like there's like theories and facts like step one step two step step three hypothesis and stuff like that so when it comes to this it's something that granted I do love the Christian like stories from the Bible and stuff because I saw because I was awake at like 11 p.m. and I there wasn't any cartoons playing so I went through the channels and they had this Christian like cartoon playing and that's when I that's when I learned about like the whole Christian like faction and like what their what the Bible is like what stories in the Bible are talking about like Moses and like the the journey and like the uh, the plague from Egypt that were that was placed yada 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 so I find the stories interesting but personally I do not believe in God that could have been a better straightforward answer but yeah that that's my whole background with the whole like do you believe in God situation no uh, I do not I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, there we go. Okay, next question. This isn't a question, it's just a hi, new region. Hi there, is my answer. There we go. Okay, moving on. Um, next one, what's the best thing you could get from a fan? Ooh, so this. Honestly, getting anything from you guys would be the best thing ever like I don't care if it's like okay maybe I would care if it was like a plastic wrapper that you ate like it was a it was a snack like it was a sneaker spa and you ate the sneakers and you gave me the plastic wrap wrapper as like a present maybe that's a bit concerning but like in general like if it was art if it was like edited videos if it was if it was just messages from you like I would love any of those kind of things like just anything, anything in general. Basically, cause like the okay, no, not not anything. No, the be, the best thing I could get from you guys is the best thing I could get from not you guys from a fan is how should I summarize this? Basically, I'm more I like when I first got my fan the fan art from. I always forget your name but I remember the icon but yeah the person who made the fan art that I'm using right now as my profile picture I was I was I was like shocked like I'm, I'm like oh my god this is this is the first time hopefully not the last <laughs> that I got fan art from someone like I still use it like this is my wallpaper for my freaking phone I love it so much but yeah that's that that made me happy, and then like there there were in like there were um times when a person um like a fan asked me like do you want this game I'm like okay okay calm down I I appreciate it but like it's too much burden for me like just getting noticed by you guys and like getting getting the fandom I guess I don't know the circle of the people I'm. The people that are watching me to get expanded is just fine for me. So, the best thing I could get from a fan is being noticed, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think it's being noticed. Um, the best thing I could get from a fan is honestly anything, I guess. I guess, yeah, let's put it like this, the fact that a fan wants to give me anything in the first place is 
Honestly, honestly amazing. Yes. Okay, so next question. What do your friends call you? This is a tricky question because one of my friends gives me a new nickname almost every single week. But yeah, my what my friends call me usually um it it varies. Like the first name the first, the first nickname I got in high school was Hee Hee. It was Hee Hee and then it evolved into just Jun and then after that when I came here it's it went to Juni and then now it's it's like Juni boy sometimes and then after that it's oh wait no there was Hee Hee and then there was Jun Jun and then Jun and then Juni Juni boy and that's it <laughs> yeah as for as for like why newbie why the name newbie June was born I just I just got it because like I was new to this kind of things hence I put new and B and then my nickname June which I really liked but yeah it varies a lot but yeah it it started with that and then slowly ended up to that which was I didn't expect it to be Juni Boy, but yeah. Next question. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza? Hell yes. See, I came from a country that had Hawaiian pizza and that was like the main pizza there because the vegetable it's hard to like grow vegetables like that in a in a tropical country. So that place mainly had pineapple and that was Oh, it's a, it was like Hawaiian pizza all the time. So, yeah, I why? Like, come on, pineapple on pizza is good. Honestly, come on. Like, I know people don't want pineapple on pizza, but like, it's better than the other stuff that I've seen on pizza. And that's pineapple is like being kind. <laughs> so yeah, pineapple on pizza. So, next. Oh. Will you love my cat un unconditionally, Ho? Because she already loves you, Miss Auntie. Yep, I know who this is from. This is from Rena. So, I told her that I was gonna do a Q&A video and she was like, oh, Where's the link? Let me ask you a question. This was before she got her cat, which is, which she calls Mikan, but I call Tama. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The cat, I, I'm not a cat person. I'm more of a dog person, but the cat literally kind of acts like a dog sometimes so I guess <laughs> I guess sure why not <laughs> but yeah the the cat is actually really cute like I'll probably put a, a picture right there or here somewhere over here on the little blank area but like yeah that's what that's what Tama which should be the name well, that's what Tama looks like so yeah the cat is actually really cute when I would have preferred the dog, but you know, cats are, cats are okay too. Honestly, like I just have a few bad memories with cats because they they, they never liked me, and I preferred dogs more. But like, Tama was Tama's okay. Tama's okay. Tama's good. <laughs> anyway, next question is from Mint Coded. Yes, hello. So this person actually. I knew this person before my channel had to go bye bye, but yeah, this person found me through t Twitter and like they're like, oh, you, 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 me, you, like, oh, I finally found you. I'm like, yes, you found me. But yeah, it's 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 like so heartwarming when you find when people find you from your old channel and they're like, oh, you, you're here. I'm like, yes, I am here. Thank you. So, the question is, moving on, the question is, what inspires you? That's a good question because there are specifically two people that inspired me. I'm, I'm most likely guessing this is re regarding like what inspired me to do YouTube. So the two people who really inspired me to do YouTube, the number one was Corey Extension. I'll put a link down there as well. I probably yeah I'll have to remind myself that there's I'll put a link down there. Corey Kenshin, he was the first YouTuber. I I don't know if it's this way or that way, one of the two. It was he was the first YouTuber that 
I ever watched like before any PewDiePie, any Markiplier, like anything before like before any of the famous YouTubers we have now, Corey X Kenshin was the first person I watched. And he, I really got into it when he started playing like I started from Ip. It was okay, but it really got like it really got more fun when he started playing Ao Oni and that's like when his first meme Break Your Ankles came out. So that's 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 where I started off with. And then as I kept watching a lot of his gameplay videos, because he's a gamer YouTuber, like a let's play YouTuber, so and for me who doesn't have a high spec computer, I can't really do those kind of games that he's playing. But as I gradually watched on, a year, I think later from that, I found out about Taina Kanauto. So that's where my whole YouTube career started because because come on those videos were funny and like big at that time I also liked love life and like oh, I should do this too that's when I thought like maybe love life might might be a stretch stretch because I didn't know about the whole copyright issues and stuff so I started with Ruby and that's when I slowly but surely climbed up to make to become an official like anime reaction channel so yeah so first is Cory. Oh god, that's not how you spell his name. Cory X. Kenshan. A samurai. The samurai freaking lord. And then Tai Naka Naoto. Tai. Tai. Tai Naka Naoto. Okay, yeah. Yep. So those were the two that I really, really. That really inspired me. And we, <laughs> and we go to the next question. So, what was the inspiration to do YouTube? Again. My inspiration to do YouTube, it started. It's okay. I'll 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 type as I narrate. So it started off with Corey X Kenshin, who uh, um wait Corey X Kenshin, who was the first YouTuber I watched. First YouTuber uh, I watched. And and then a year, and and then a year from there, I found Tainaka Naoto, and then boom, I started my channel. <laughs> that's actually really straightforward. Like that's literally how it happened. But yeah, moving on. What food do you hate most? Who oh, for me? I don't really have a, a specific food I dislike or hate. In general, I hate tomatoes. So this is this is something that is really funny because I like Nishikino Maki and her character really likes tomatoes but like I cannot stand tomatoes. I don't like the taste of it. I don't want it near me. But ironically, I love ketchup. It's the definition of irony. <laughs> like I, I could live on ke ketchup, like tomato sauce. I could go for that any day, any time. Tomatoes are a no-no. Like it may say tomato sauce, I can have that. If it's just tomatoes without the sauce, I'm like no. I hate tomatoes. <laughs> but yeah. So, moving on to the next question. Other than oh my god, we still got like 25 questions. Other than anime, what kind of shows do you like? I like the Power Rangers, <laughs> if that doesn't count as anime. But in all ser seriousness, other than anime, I do watch a lot of cartoons. I watch... I watch cartoons like Steven Universe, of course. Oh god, that's not how you spell universe. That's not how you spell universe. Um, we Bear Bears? We bear bears, and another one is like Family. Oh my God, Family Guy, The Simpsons, and um, South Park. Other than that, I did South Park. Other than that, I do. Other than that, I. Other than that, oh, there's the hun the the hundred the hundred. 
which is, I think it's a Netflix series, I don't know what it is, I, I'm guessing it's a Netflix series, but it's basically about um, the world, the Earth in the future, where the Earth is really, it was bombed by a nuclear bomb, and it, it's, it was bombed by a nuclear bomb, it was bombed by a nuclear, yeah, as I said, and it, it, it was deemed inhabitable to, for the humans to live on, so a group of, of people set off on a spaceship, on a space station, and moved their, moved as much, as many people as they could, to that space station, and they've lived there for, I think, hundred years, I think. But then they found out that they had limited resources. They were running out of oxygen. They were running out of food. They were running out of water. They were running out of everything. So they decided to set off their future, um, the future generation, which was this the the hundred. So these were like, these were, well, they say future generation, but they were specimens to check out if the earth was habitable for the people in the station. So they picked all the, what do you call it, the criminals, the criminal child that were on that ship to be sent off to that place. So that's the storyline, and then the children get there, they land, and then they find out the earth is habitable, but there are some some evolution issues there so that's the whole plot of the hundred so I do recommend you watch it because it's actually really interesting but yeah it may it gets a bit gory and there are some scenes that are not for children so if you are 12 I guess I don't I don't know I think it's PG 15 I think I'm guessing yeah it should be PG 15 but yeah if if you're lower than 15 don't watch it um, other than that, there's the hundred, there's the, um, there's, I've, I don't know why, but I watched Modern Family when I was a child a lot. There was Modern Family. I haven't watched the recent series, there's Friends. Yep. Yep. Friends, um, there's Parks and Recs. Like, Parks and Recreation, um, what else is there? And a few shows I can't remember, honestly, on the top of my head. And a few... The top of my head. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't watch a lot other than cartoonish kind of stuff. Because I don't like live action. I don't like people. I don't like seeing people. <laughs> I, like, I like animated stuff. So yeah, I mainly... My main go-to other than anime is like... Family Guys, The Simpsons, and South Park. Other than that, I watch Steven Universe and We Bear Bears. Moving on. If you could have any superpower, what, do we, what would it be? Hello, club. So, I'll put a link to his channel as well. He's my friend from a Google Hangout chat room that I found through Amino, through Ruby, and boom. So, if you could have any superpower, what, do, what would it be? Huh. Hmm. Honestly, the uh, the main superpower I really want that I can really relate to is it's not a superpower, but it's considered a abnormal abnormal like skill. If you've watched <coughs> Medica Box, Medaka Box, the main character Meda Kurokami Medaka, her skill is called the end and it allows her to utilize other people's skills that she's witnessed to their fullest potential so like a hunch can use them a hundred percent after just witnessing and understanding how it works for me I I can relate because I have somewhat something similar to that like if I'm shown something like this I can do it just like that like just teach me like and let me test it like let me try it out at least once or twice and I'll get it straight away so that's that's like my kind of style like that's I guess I'll consider it something like my ability just like hers but like in reality I would be similar to Akune I think that I don't know his last name but it's another character from that show called Akune and he's able to something like able to do something like that but not to her extent so I would be somewhat similar to him but I want that to be upgraded and I want to be like her so yeah, I don't know if that's considered a superpower, but it I guess it it's a it's not 
normal to have so I've seen a lot of skills that had that required that were based on mind reading but I guess I'll have telekinesis uh, is that how you spell oh that's not how you spell telekinesis as an ability because it's it's like it's like the it's like when you see in fairy tale like you may have they show that some people have a really normal kind of ability like you see Natsu with his flame like ability to make flames like a like a fire dragon but like as he evolves it doesn't just become that he can use that to like freaking fly and stuff so if as you train your ability you can unlock new things so I think telekinesis would be better because come on you can who knows what you could do with that like it's amazing oh my god this is a long question um <laughs> next question are you Korean yes I am yes I am Korean let's answer the ones that I can answer straight away yes I am Korean um I found you by love live reaction oh thank you I watched a lot of your videos oh thank you oh, it's funny oh thank you um I want to know who the female is in the Maho Shoujo reaction video oh so that female <laughs> that female <laughs> that female is my friend friend she has a YouTube channel I shall put the link in the Q&A video because <laughs> it's gonna be released today uh, I don't know who is in the end what anime are you watching right now right now I am watching nothing because <laughs> right right now especially this week I, I got really busy busy because my club I have two clubs one is Edis which is a debate debate club and another one is called EISC which is EY International School Channel and that that channel is mainly for the people who can't for basically for the international students who have difficulty understanding cor the notices in Korean so we make videos about like events in the school so that the foreigners can like understand what's happening so right what anime I watch right now